A woman will stay in her masculine energy until a man makes her feel safe to be comfortable in her feminine energy. Her masculine energy is a defense mechanism. It's something she does to protect herself from all the trauma she's been through. Generally speaking, men don't want to date promiscuous women or women with a high body count. What's high? It's I mean, it varies. Subjective. It varies, but Two I mean... Could be high. He said over six before. I don't understand how much a woman can fuck your life up when you don't know what the hell is going on. A lot of y'all are shacking up or getting, wifing up girls that have more sexual experience than you. She's been around dudes. She knows the game. Then your dumb ass ends up, oh, you walk down the aisle with this girl. Next thing you know, six months later, you're getting fucking divorced or you're getting broken up with. That's why we tell y'all, don't get married. In general, most of you guys have no business getting fucking married. How are my personal insecurities going to ruin this relationship? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. We go into a relationship almost blind to our own wounds and they resurface in the relationship and we blame them for not providing the medication of a wound that existed before we met them. Well, I mean by free card. And I, I think it's dishonest to say that like men don't care about that stuff and there's going to be no consequences because a lot of you guys have said yourself that there are. Like you said it out of your woman describing her experience of being alone with her son when a strange man starts to approach her, which she yells, do not approach me, get away from me. And the man gets like offended before going away. And I've said it on this channel before, but I will say it again. Men do not seek out women for help. They will either seek out another man or they will contact the authorities. There is almost no reason for a man to be approaching a woman in public that they do not know, especially if that woman is a mother with her child and they are alone. This happened in the parking lot of a grocery store. If he really needed something, he could go inside the grocery store and ask for assistance from an associate. Leave women alone. I'm done with I'm done with all of you. Could modern women be unknowingly pushing men away with new relationship standards? Men are silently opting out, choosing solitude over romance. I say this so often, but I think it's pretty rare for pretty girls to be approached in public. And personally, I think it's because there's an overall full package that comes with being a pretty girl. And a lot of guys that aren't really up at that level don't really know how to handle that. But the best thing about this is the right guy will approach you. And it'll usually be a guy that meets your standards and is up at your level in terms of success, ambition, character, goals, all of that, and will overall be a better match for you than the dusties that are walking around. Let me tell you why you're here. Feminist ideals have shifted relationship dynamics, encouraging women to assert independence at all costs. But for many men, this fierce independence feels like rejection, prompting them to seek fulfillment elsewhere. I've been in Houston since yesterday, and I'm gonna tell you right now, if my future boyfriend ever tells me he's coming to Houston, oh, we're going to fight. We are going to fucking fight because I know what Houston is like. And Houston, my friend, is lit as a... Them bars is lit. Them clubs is lit. We're going to have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. It's about to be in a casket. Come grab this body from me. So ladies, if your man tells you, oh, I'm just gonna go to Houston, go for yourself and see how lit that is, okay? Have a, f make sure you got that location because this is down. Literally, it's crazy. What was I thinking? Some women approach relationships with a competitive edge, prioritizing personal goals over partnership. This approach often alienates men leaving them to believe they're seen as obstacles rather than companions. Stop giving that man a hundred chances because he's going to take them all and never change. Because I'm tired of seeing women fighting so hard for a situation that I can clearly see is going nowhere. How a man treats you is how he feels about you. It's not because he's got this stress going on or this drama going on or this incident has happened. It's because you have positioned yourself as someone who will accept and tolerate disrespect. So disrespect is what is going to be on the menu. And I think what we as women fail to understand is that once a man has categorized you in that category, you will stay. I like this one. A no compromise mindset can create emotional distance. Many modern women unknowingly build walls, focusing on personal success while leaving men feeling unseen, unneeded, and quietly choosing a life of solitude. My eyebrow girl gave me the best line to use if a guy keeps staring at you but won't come up and say anything to you. I am in this predicament, so I was like, Yumitza, I need help. And she is a bad and I knew that she would know what to do. She was like, next time he's near you, 
just say, I see you peeking, but not speaking. <laughs> I was like, I love that. Cause kind of calling them out for what they're doing. And you're making the first move by talking to them first. It's funny. It's clever. It's a recipe for success. Viewing vulnerability as weakness. Some women mask their emotions, hoping to stay strong. Yet men crave openness and this guarded approach leaves them feeling disconnected and ultimately uninterested in pursuing romance. I'm here to say one more thing. Oh, goody. I just had to drag my AC out of my car to my apartment building. Three guys passed me. None of them offered to help. Why should they? Women are strong and independent. They can do everything on their own. None. None. Zero out of three. Why? Because you couldn't lift it? You were too scared to lift it? Is that why? Am I intimidating? Am I more masculine than you? Hmm. No, that's not what it is at all. But let's take a moment to think about how many women, thousands upon thousands of women, are saying every single day that in fact they don't need men. They don't need them at all. In fact, they're saying sometimes that the world would be better off without men. But apparently, some women still need men for grunt work. I should think that they would be grateful that men are finally listening to their wishes, ideas, and their feelings. But apparently not when it comes to lifting heavy objects. In striving for independence, some women neglect emotional interdependence. Forgetting relationships require teamwork. This oversight leaves men feeling more like sidekicks than partners, leading many to seek freedom over commitment. If you're a man, this is for you. Um, little PSA. If you see a woman hiking alone, that is the absolute worst time <laughs> to try and hit on her. I don't care if you have the purest intentions in the world. Just stop. I was hiking in the redwoods, no cell service, completely on my own because I'm on a solo road trip. So I'm gonna hike by myself because duh. Um, and this guy just took it upon himself to be like, you're really cute, what's your name? Where are you from? Where are you headed? What are you doing here? And I was like, I am going to think you're gonna find me and murder me for the rest of the night. Thanks! <laughs> and I really do believe that this guy had the purest of intentions, but I don't, like, it doesn't matter if you're actually a good person. I don't know you. I don't know that. Um, and the difference between me, a woman, and you, a man, is that you're so worried that you're gonna get rejected right now, I'm worried that I'm gonna get murdered. So, just... Unyielding independence often leads to self-reliance that distances partners. When women resist connection to assert strength, men feel expendable, choosing to embrace single life over feeling unnecessary in relationships. I'm a single mom of a two and a half year old. I've been split up from my ex for about 10 months now. I still get hit hard, hard sometimes with the grief and the loneliness of it all like i took him to the park and we were playing alone for a long time and he was saying cute things funny things and when i was texting my mom and my sister and you know telling them what he said and then another